Hi everybody, Patrick here from paintballprops.com and engineeringshot.com. This is the IRXX03 sound effects board for laser tag gaming. Uh, it comes with a stereo connector which connects right here. This is your infrared receiver. You don't need to use an infrared uh, laser tag gun for this. You can use an infrared remote control. In fact, I'm going to use an infrared remote control for this video for simplicity. Uh, it works with 38 kilohertz laser tag guns and has four modes of operation. There are 12 selectable uh, sound bites and f uh, uh, four modes of operation are very easy to select. Now, you can use the terminal block here to plug in a battery connector. It doesn't come with a battery connector. You can purchase one separately if you'd like. I can accommodate that. It does come with an AC to DC adapter, or rather I might list those separately. The final version will be in green. The pre-order units are in black. Plug-in power here, or here rather. This is your um, selection button. Uh, and we're going to be using the selection button and this jumper right here to um, to select between modes of operation. Now the neat thing about this is if you haven't and if you haven't seen our turret video yet, this can plug into the turret and they communicate with each other right on power up. And now if you, uh, I'm not going to give it away. I want you to watch the uh, the turret video, but just so that you know, the boards are programmed to interface with each other. So let's talk about the modes of operation. Silly me, I forgot to mention, when you what you do is you take your stereo connector, sorry, there you go, plug it in, and plug the other side into uh, an amplifier with speakers, and the sound signals are transferred, and you can uh, up the volume significantly. If you up the volume way too high, the sound quality does go down, but uh, you, uh, I'll be giving you examples in uh, just a minute, so when you've received your model, plug in your... Um, stereo connector right here and connect to your amplifier. I'll be using my computer speakers. In standalone mode, when it's not connected to the turret, you need to make sure that there's a jumper selecting the middle and right pins right here, A, not B. And for this jumper, CN1, uh, you want to make sure that A is selected. And this is going to enter us into random mode when we plug it in, as soon as we power it up. This is the first mode of operation. Random mode. Random mode. So I'm just going to use my infrared remote for this. Uh, you can have the um, the you can you can ask that the infrared receiver be placed off of the board on wires if you'd like. And so if you place uh, a uh, a protective area around the sensor, it can be used as a target practice module. So I'm just going to use uh, infrared remote control. <laughs> So there are 12 sound bites and they're grouped into three different sets of sound bites. There's ricochet, there's three different ricochet sound bites, there's three different zombie sound bites, there's three different video game sound bites, and there are three scream sound bites. Yeah, I've used some pretty comical screams. So in this mode, it just plays it just plays random audio bites every time the sensor is shot. Every time it and every time it receives any IR signal. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in sequential mode. When I power the unit up in this mode, it will still say random mode, but it's going to play every sound bite sequentially. And what I've done here is I've changed from A to B, and I'm going to power it up. Random mode. So I'll play for you all 10, 12 sound bites right now, one by one. Those are the three ricochets, now three zombies. Now the three video game sound bites. That's Mega Man. Super Metroid. Zelda. Now the three screams. and it'll cycle through those, so it'll cycle back to the first three ricochets. So that is random mode slash sequential mode. In this mode, we can select 
a single sample to be played over and over and over every time the uh, receiver receives an infrared signal. And we're going to leave the jumpers in the exact same spot. Um, uh, a for the left, B for the right from this perspective. And what we're going to do is we're going to power it up and we're going to hold down the button while we power it up. And it's going to say select audio sample. And at that point, we continue to hold the button and it'll cycle through the sound bites. And once you hear a sound bite you, you, you want to have cycled over and over and over again, you just let go of the button. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop it um, on the, I'm going to stop it on one of the zombie sound bites. So I'm going to power it up while holding down the button, and I will let go of the button only when I hear the audio sample that I want to be replayed. Select audio sample. So now it will play that last sound bite over and over and over again when I shoot the sensor with my gun. So let's select a different sound bite this time. I'm going to unplug, hold down the button. Select audio sample. And it'll be that second ricochet sound effect. there you have it. You can cycle through all 12 and if you continue to hold the button it'll cycle back to sound bite number one. Uh, it's very easy to program in a sound over and over that, that'll be replayed over and over and over again until you remove power. So now let's talk about the select audio group option. What I've simply done is connected from B back to A on CN1, connector 1. And now what happens is, is when I um, when I power up holding the button down, I can select between uh, hearing the groups of samples. So I can hear all three ricochet sounds over and over and over again, all three zombie sounds, all three video game sounds, and uh, excuse me, all three scream sounds. So it's going to say select audio sample, and I'm just going to keep holding it until I hear the sound by groups group that I want to have cycled over and over and over again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in, hold down the button. It'll say select audio group. Select audio group. So now I will be able to hear the three screams sequentially. Now if I want to try a different uh, set of samples, say all zombie, Remove power, plug it back in, holding down the button. Select audio group. I'll use my pretend gun. And it'll just keep playing those three until I remove power, hold down the button. This time I'll shoot I'll choose the video games. So it'll play my three audio, uh, video game sound bites. Of course, every time I'm pressing a button. So that's that. And in the next video with the turret, I'm going to show you how to use this jumper, which constantly stays in the right position from this perspective, how to interface it with the uh, motion detector turret. Essentially, the uh, it acts. It has several different modes of operation, but actually, I'm not going to give anything away. I'm hoping you'll watch the video. So thanks for watching. 12 audio sound bites, um, four different modes of operation. Very easy to use. This uh, video manual is really all you need. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks, guys.